everyone and welcome to today's session of the I am made for more challenge. It is such a pleasure to be with you again. My name is Megan and I'm part of the made for more team for those of you that I haven't met yet. Thank you so much for tuning in today and joining us on this I am made for more challenge. Don't forget to share this video and um, upload pictures of you doing today's challenge with us later on. It's um, always such a joy to get feedback and to see how people are enjoying these, these sessions. So we really, really enjoy um, being in your homes um, in a time like this. So as we all know now, uh, lockdown has been extended and the reality is really sinking in. And I think we're all feeling like we're needing to dig really, really deep in terms of our creativity. And that's to keep ourselves entertained. And that's our theme for today. So before we start, what I'd like you to get is at least one piece of newspaper. Um, so I've got a piece of newspaper here. We're going to be doing some fine motor skills again today. Um, so please, will you just maybe pause the video now, go get yourself a piece of um, a newspaper, and then we can get cracking. Right, so. What's always important, as you know, and you would have learned from doing our previous videos, is that we do a good warm up. And today, because we're going to be focusing on fine motor skills, it's really important that we get our fingers ready for today's activity. But first, I'd like to just start with some big, deep breaths in and out. And what's really nice about um, taking a moment to focus on your breathing is that it actually tends to make you focus on the task at hand, um, to focus your mind, focus your body, and just forget about the things that you perhaps need to get done today, forget about the worries you've got, forget about your brother or sister who might be driving you mad at home, and it just gives you a moment to just settle and focus. Um, so, if you want to join me, and we're going to start off by taking a few breaths in and out. Right, and we um, breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. So here we go. Big breath in, in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, in through your nose, hold it, stretch to the ceiling and out through your mouth. And one more time, make it your biggest, deepest breath. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Excellent, well done. So I hope you're feeling nice and focused and ready for today's activity. So what I'd like to do first is just to get our necks nicely warmed up. So we're going to do a neck roll. We will go from one side and then to the other side. So follow me. I'm going to look down, then roll our head all the way around and down and then switch directions and across. Look to the other side of the room, look to the ceiling, look to the other side, and look to the floor. Okay, let's change directions. Look to, over your shoulder, up to the ceiling, over the other shoulder, and to the floor. And one more time the other way. Look over your shoulder, up to the ceiling, across to the other shoulder, and down to the floor. Right, let's give that a little wiggle. Great work, guys. Okay, next what we're going to do is just uh, roll our shoulders, uh, get those ready for today's activity. So first I'd like to do 10 rolls back and then 10 rolls forward. Right, let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's 10 back and let's go forward. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Another thing that you want to make sure that you've got with you is a bottle of water because today, even though we are not doing big strenuous exercises like we often do, it's really important to stay hydrated. So I'm going to take a sip of water. Right, next, what I love for you, you to do is to just stretch your arms out wide and Stretch, 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 stretch. Try and touch the other sides of the room as far as you can and wiggle those fingers. And then bring one arm in front of you and give it a nice stretch across. So you can feel the stretch across the top of your arm here. 
Try and keep your shoulders in line. And hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Great. Shake it out. Let's stretch out again. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Wiggle your fingers. Try and touch the edges of the room. And then bring your other arm around. Keep those shoulders nice and level. And pull with this arm. Making sure that you get a nice stretch in that upper arm and across your shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. Okay, shake it. Right. Next, what we need to do is just get our get our hands ready. And so, what I'd like for you to do is just to roll your wrists. We're going to roll inwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then let's change directions to go outwards. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, and then lastly, let's just flick our fingers, get them nice and warm. Flick, 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 flick. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, so you now should be feeling nice and warm, focused and feeling the nice blood flow uh, through your upper body, which is great because that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Okay, so I hope that you've got that one piece of newspaper with you. What we're going to start off doing first is tearing strips of paper. So as you can see, I tore some strips earlier and some are a nice width. That's about probably about four centimeters across. Ideally, we want to try and actually um, tear strips of paper that are about three centimeters wide. As you can see here, I went quite skew. <laughs> and so ideally what we want is for our strips of paper to be very similar in size so that our um, the thing that we're going to be making just now is nice and neat. So what's really great about tearing paper is that it works the very small muscles in our fingers, which are important for when we are um, writing and drawing and, and holding things and so that's what's so nice about tearing paper is that it works those muscles. Okay so our aim then is to not get big fat pieces like this but rather pieces that are a little bit more um, thin and one size as opposed to quite a varied size. Okay so grab your piece of paper. The easiest way to tear is to as you can see this is how I would normally read the paper. Okay, this is the top. So turn it on its side, because then it actually tears a lot easier. So, if you'll join me in tearing your paper. And so tear it about three centimeters away from the edge, and try your best to try and keep a nice straight line so that your paper is more or less the same width the whole way along. Okay, so we're going to tear this entire piece of paper to similar sizes as this. So it takes a little bit of concentration and control, which is really good. So to give these small muscles in our hands and in our arms an opportunity to all work together. Right. Then we'll tear the second piece. Oh, I'm going a bit thin. So as you can see here, more or less the same width, but in some places it got a little bit skinny. Okay. Next one, always trying to keep it about three or four centimeters wide. That was quite a straight strap. Okay, similar width. So that should be your fourth piece. This newspaper tears so nicely. So if you need to stop and reposition your hands at any point, you can do that. You can also use a table um, if you need to place your piece of paper in one place. Right, nearly at the end now. Okay, gonna do one more. Great, okay, so I've got a couple of strips of paper here on my lap, as you should too. And now what we are going to be making is something called a paper chain. So 
what you need to do is take two is choose two strips of paper that are quite similar in width. You can put the rest of your papers to the side to use later on. Right, I'm going to come a bit closer to show you. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a chain. So this is something that I used to do when I was a child um, around Christmas time, is that we would take crepe paper and we would make these nice chains to decorate the house. But I figured most of us will have access to newspaper in this time and that would be a really nice thing to do. So as you can see, I've taken these two pieces and I've put them, one pointing toward me, another one pointing toward the side of the room. And then I'm gonna take the piece that's closest to me and fold it over and away from me. And then I'm going to change to the one on the side and fold it in the opposite direction. So basically it's about being consistent in the way that you fold. So now I switch to the paper and that's facing you and I bring it back toward me. And then I take the one on the side and I put it back to the side here. Okay, I think you've got the gist of what I'm doing. I'm gonna sit down again. So obviously it makes sense to be seating doing this, but you can also stand as well. If you need a table to rest your arms on, that's also all right. I chose not to use a table today so that I am working my shoulders and my arms as well as my hands um, in this activity and making it a little bit harder for myself. But so as you can see, I switch between paper strands from the side one to the other one that goes um, front to back. What I'm doing is I'm making my, I'm, I'm keeping things as neat and tidy as possible as I do this and alternating between the stripes. Right, nearly there, keep going. So you just keep folding, 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 using your fingers, making sure that you also um, press it nicely so that it's a good fold. Okay, and then as you come toward the end, just fold the small pieces that you've got over just to finish it off. And then you grab the one side that you've just finished and you grab the other side that you started with and you've got a lovely paper chain. So what you can do is actually um, to make your chain longer, you obviously need longer strips of paper. And so what you can do is if, if you've got a stapler at home, you can staple or glue, use sticky tape, print, staples, whatever you've got. So just combine two strips together, try and find ones that are a little bit more similar in width than this. And then you can actually make nice long chains. Or what you could do is also just, I made this chain a little bit earlier. And so what you can do is you can just staple these two together and you can create lovely decorations for around the home. So you see that? It's a very nice paper chain. So this is a really great activity to do when perhaps it's raining outside, if you are able to use your garden and you can't go outside to play, or if you're stuck at home and in a place that doesn't have a garden. And as you know, we're not allowed to leave our homes at the moment. And so this is a really nice activity to just work various muscles and to make something creative out of newspaper, which most people throw away after they've read, especially all of the adverts, which all of our newspapers are full of. So I hope that you enjoyed today's session and um, all about creativity. And um, if you want to, you can, and if you've got ribbons lying around at home that are similar width, you can do the same thing. If you do have any crepe paper left over or wrapping paper that um, perhaps your parents aren't using and you're allowed to use, of course, get permission. Make sure that whoever reads the newspaper has read it before you go and tear it up. And that this is just a really nice activity to um, challenge yourself on. So I hope that you enjoyed it. We'd love to know from you what ways you are getting creative during this extended period of lockdown, especially when we're not able to go and perhaps purchase things that we would ordinarily use to do fun, creative things. You know, we've got to think out of the box at the moment. And so why don't you write to us, write in the comments and let us know how it is that you're being creative during this time. 
Okay, so to end off today, we're gonna to do a little warm down. And again, like I said, I find breathing a really powerful thing um, because it just helps us to stay calm and at peace, especially in such uncertain times. It helps us to just stay focused. Um, I think what's really important during lockdown is to look up, not only look after our bodies, but our minds and our hearts and our spirits as well. And so we hope that all of these various activities and exercises that we bring into your homes are doing that for you. So please will you join me in just taking a few deep breaths and then we'll finish off today's session. All right, so remember to breathe in through your nose and we're gonna hold it and stretch to the ceiling and then we'll let it out and breathe out through our mouths. Okay, I'm gonna move my water bottle out of the way so I can do this properly. Right, big breath in and in through your nose and hold for three, three, two, one and out through your mouth. And again, in through your nose. Big, big, big breath, fill up those lungs and stretch to the ceiling and hold it for three, two, one, and then out through your mouth. <sighs> Give a big, big, big breath out. Get all of the air that's in your lungs out so that you can breathe in and out very deeply. And last one, let's make a count. Big, big, big breath in. In, 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 in. Your deepest breath, hold and stretch to the ceiling and then out. Right everyone, don't forget to share this video and share with us you doing your paper chains. Um, be sure to use the hashtag I made for more challenge and to tag made for more as well so that we can see what you're up to on Facebook and Instagram. It's such a joy to be able to share this with you even though we're all stuck in our homes around the country and across the globe. And be sure to tune in tomorrow for our next Iron Made For More challenge where we are staying fit and healthy in our bodies, minds, spirits and hearts. We love you guys. God bless. Stay safe. And we'll catch you again tomorrow. Bye.